Hello everybody and welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's online video tutorial series. Today we're answering a question for Jillian who is wondering about how to do this question. Now this number three here is misleading. This is off of a, a website so this is not a number three kind of question. The questions get more difficult as they go and I would say this is more like a number 20 kind of question. So let's change that here. Okay, let's look at it. So figure A, B, C, D, E, F is a regular hexagon. Line FC bisects angle AFE and the length of ED is 12. What is the length of FG? Okay, so let's label what we know. This is 12. We know that. Nice. And we know that these two angles over here, I'll make two little stripes, these are equal because that's what bisects means. It means that the angle is cut in half so that those two angles are equal. Okay, so we know that. Now there's an equation that you'll need to know that is not provided for the SAT. This is about the only equation that isn't provided by the test. n minus 2 times 180 is equal to the total degrees in a regular or in a polygon here. So total degrees. Um, n being the number of sides. This is the number of sides. So in our case, this is 6, right? So we have 6 minus 2, which is 4, times 180. That will give us the total number of degrees in this hexagon. So that is going to be equal to 720 degrees. Okay, so if you add up all six angles, it's 720 degrees. Well, if we divide it by six, 700 divide, 720 divided by 6, that's going to give us 120 degrees, which means that each of these angles, B, D, any of them, are 120, which means that these two right here, I'll mark them, are each 60. These are each 60 degrees because this is bisecting. Now, you might be saying, well, like, we were looking for a length of FG. How the heck are we going to do that with angles? What does it even matter? Well, what we typically do in a question like this is we think about what kind of smaller figures do we have within this larger figure. And what we have is we have some right triangles over here. And with right triangles, degree measures can be useful. We know that oftentimes SAT problems boil down to the 30, 60, 90, which we have, of course, because if this is 60, if this is uh, F over here, this is just another version of what we see on this piece over here. Here's G. Well, at G, there's a 90 degree angle, so of course this one must be 30 because the triangle adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, so 30, 60, 90s oftentimes are what these geometry questions boil down to. The other one is the 45, 45, 90, but let's talk about this one. The ratio of sides of a 30, 60, 90 are always the same. The short side is X, or we'll call it X. The long side is X root 3. And then the hypotenuse is 2x. Okay, well, we're looking for x. x is equal to fg. That's what we're looking for. Well, what do we know? We know ed is 12. Well, ed, this is a regular hexagon, so all of these are 12. Which means, of course, that fa, let's draw our a up here, is equal to 12. 12 is equal to this 2x. Well, if 12 is 2x, then x is simply half of that. fg's length is going to be 6. Okay, so what did we see here? First of all, this important equation, n minus 2 times 180 gives us the total number of degrees in a figure. And if it's a regular figure, if it's a regular polygon, we can divide by the number of sides to get each angle. Not if it's irregular, but if it is regular. The other things we needed to know was what bisect means, and we also needed to be aware of the 30, 60, 90 equation. Now, Remember that the side lengths of a 30, 60, 90, if you forget them, are listed at the beginning of every section. So it's a difficult problem, but we saw it all boiled down to right triangles at the end of the day. So um, if you have any other questions at all, please get in touch. We'd be happy to help. And let's thank Jillian for giving us this example, which provided us with a nice challenging geometry question. All right, good luck on the test, and let us know if we can help. You know where to turn if you need it.